to another video. I finally have been able to check in. As you can already tell by the title of this video, this is my Mexico travel vlog. My husband and I are currently on vacation and I wanted to do a quick check-in. So I'll explain where we are and what I'm doing here as well as books I'm reading. Also, we're staying in a bit of a party hotel, so if you hear screaming, that is all of the people in the pool that are having a good time on vacation. But anyways, I grew up going to Mexico several times with my parents for vacation. It's only a four hour flight from Portland, Oregon, which is fantastic. It's a direct flight on Alaska. I've been to a few places, but I really like Puerto Vallarta. And so this year, my husband and I decided to take a little vacation trip in December, since we really haven't been able to go anywhere since COVID. And when we were dating, he actually surprised me. I was staying here with my parents and he came and we actually made a whole little dance video I'll link it in the cards above if you're interested in watching that it's really dorky and cheesy but it was fun to make before book videos I just had a lot of dance videos on this channel that I made with friends and family so I had all these plans to make this vlog all cute but then unfortunately my husband and I got colds and that's been a serious bummer we have sore throats runny noses and congestion luckily no other symptoms no fevers body aches or anything like that we know it's not COVID thank goodness but unfortunately it's been a bit of a bummer to be sick on vacation I mean, to be fair, it's not that bad to be sick and just lay in the sunshine. If I were an animal, I'd definitely be one of those like iguana loser things that just like lays on a hot rock and soaks up the sun. I just love being like warm in my bones, you know? Anyways, all that to say, we have a few days left of our vacation. I'll try to vlog, probably mostly B-roll, of some stuff we get up to and little scenes from the beach. We actually stayed in two different hotels. So the first part of our trip was in Puerto Vallarta at the Fiesta Americana and the second stay is in Nuevo Vallarta and that is in the Rio Palace Pacifico. So yeah, we are on the mend, feeling a lot better and going to soak up as much sun as we can in these last couple days. Now for what I am reading and watching. I'm actually so enjoying all of the vlogmas, bookmas content that everyone is creating. It is so much fun. So it's definitely keeping me occupied while I lay on the beach. And when I don't feel like reading, I'm just watching everyone's videos and that is so fun. I actually am enjoying the juxtaposition of being in a warm, sunny, hot place and watching Christmas wintery themed videos. And speaking of wintery Christmas reads, I'm reading Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. This is my chunky book that I brought with me on vacation that I'm physically reading. I'm buddy reading this alongside with Tiffany from Beautiful Minutia and another one of her friends and I am loving this book so much. This is definitely like a family nostalgic cozy wintry read but I'm loving reading it on the beach anyways because this book just sucks me in and I want to keep reading and learn more about this family. This is the definition of the most wholesome book you'll probably ever pick up. It is just truly happy, sweet. I love the family dynamic. I love the sisterhood, the friendships, the amazing mother and daughter relationships in here. It's a fantastic book. I'm loving it so much, soaking up every minute. And I think this will easily be a five-star read. This is about an 800 page edition of this book and I'm just a little over halfway through. I think I can finish it on this trip. I was actually pretty ambitious and brought a second book with me just in case I finished that one. And that was The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. I don't think I'll be able to get to this book. But the reason that I brought it is because one, I thought I was gonna finish this, which as much downtime as I have here, I'm also spending time with my husband and we're doing other things. I can't read that much. But I also thought maybe if I'm not in the mood for like a Christmassy, wintry, cozy read, I thought that I would like something lighter or different. And as I was scanning my bookshelves, I realized I have zero like beach summery light books. And the closest one I could think of was, well, maybe something like Big Little Lies. And so I thought I would try another Leanne Moriarty, which I've been wanting to try for a very long time anyways. And I did read the first chapter of this book in my try a chapter video and was intrigued overall. So I thought maybe I'll pick this up. It's not looking likely, but you never know, maybe on the plane if I get bored. Also in the evenings when there's time, I did bring my computer. I have three videos to edit, so I have plenty of things to do. And when I'm not feeling like a physical book and I just want to soak in the sun and not hold a book up, I am currently listening to the audiobook of The Fiery Cross, which is the fifth book in the Outlander series. So I'm enjoying just the continuation of that lovely historical family saga. Overall, it's been a good vacation. Even though it's a little bit of a bummer that we got sick, I'm still enjoying the time that we're spending together, the time I get to read, chillax, and just lay in the sun, be warm and cozy, because I know when we come back home, it's gonna be sad and rainy and cold and miserable in terms of the weather, <laughs> but we do miss our cat. We're excited to go home to see her. So yeah, that's what we're up to. I'll check in with you guys when I get a chance to.
As you can tell, vacation's over, and now I'm back home in a Christmassy sweater. It's drizzly and cold outside, as I predicted, and there's even a light dusting of snow on the ground. But despite being sick, the trip to Mexico was wonderful. My husband and I had a blast, and it was a lovely getaway. And I wanted to check in and say that I did finish Little Women. I finished this the last day there on the beach. As I said, it is a five-star read through and through. This was definitely one of the most enjoyable reading experiences I had all year. I absolutely loved this classic. This is definitely a book that I hope to return to in the years to come. I feel like this will be a very cozy nostalgic read to read during this time of year. I definitely hope to read it with like future kids someday and all that kind of stuff. It's very very sweet, a very wholesome lovely family story and I really enjoyed buddy reading this alongside with Tiffany from Beautiful Minutia. I think buddy reading especially with classics is the way to go for me. So if you have a classic in mind that you want to read in 20 22 and you've seen me maybe mention it let me know because i feel like i can totally get behind more classics if i have a person to read them with and yeah that's it thank you so much for watching this little video about our trip to mexico and i'll see you guys in another video soon bye <laughs>